trigger time. I'm so excited. We have a really great show today. I love our guest co-host and I'm wearing green. So can you guess who she is? All right, so without further ado, our co-hosts today are very own Brie Esrig. You can subscribe to her YouTube channel at Brie Esrig. First time in the Pop Trigger studio, the one, the only, Glozelle is here. So excited. And of course, you can subscribe to her YouTube channel at Glozelle One. Also, her new single is on iTunes, Pick Up After Your Dog, which is yes. awesome. Kirby's in it. Starring dog. her dog. Yes. yes, starring her dog. So your success, your career has completely skyrocketed. So exciting. What are you working on right now? Well, I'm going to be traveling. I do have another song out called Cinnamon Tried to Kill Me. Ooh. Okay, because Cinnamon did try to kill me. It did. And I still, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make it through, though. You could work with anybody out there. Who would it be? Well, Rihanna did just follow me, so... <laughs> Uh, maybe we can do the umbrella cinnamon tour, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I was crying. I was in Starbucks and I was like, what? We read no, uh-uh. Someone told me, I was like, you lying, you lying, don't play with me like that. Wow. You know, because I talk about everybody. So I'm like, maybe she didn't see those videos. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and Brad Ehrlich, catch yeah. him on the war room on current TV as well as various TV guide specials. Yeah, and you know who just followed me? Who? Mitch Edwards. Who's yeah. that? <laughs> Just some guy named Mitch Edwards. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so I want to thank you guys for being here. Glazelle, thank you for being here. Let's get right to it. I want to talk Amanda Bynes. Now, everybody's talking about how everybody has an opinion. I want just some, like, honest, raw conversation among us. I don't even know where to begin because I feel like there's a new update to her downward spiral every single day. So we know recently she was arrested yet again. Mm -hmm. This time in New York for allegedly throwing a bong outside her 36th floor apartment window. And of course, we've, we've witnessed her bizarre behavior, right? Everything from her selfies, everything from her, her Twitter feuds with all these different celebrities on Twitter, calling them ugly. Her mean spirited tweets to Rihanna saying literally, and I'm gonna paraphrase, like basically saying that, um, you know, you deserve to be beat by Chris Brown because you were ugly, calling her a dog, calling, uh, we talked about her calling Jenny McCarthy a dog, Courtney Love, Courtney Chrissy Love. Teigen. And of course, you know, just her drastic change in appearance. She doesn't look healthy. She doesn't look like the Amanda Bynes that we once knew. And then also trying to sue everybody from the media, from her family to the NYPD. She tweeted that she wants to sue the officer who allegedly sexually harassed her and slapped her vagina. <laughs> so let's talk Amanda Bynes raw, real, <laughs> right now, thoughts, five words or less. I'm calling Judge Trudy. Big behind hot mess, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's out of her binds. Ooh, that was good, that was Brett. Good. A whole new Amanda show. So before Glazelle, we've actually covered a lot of Amanda Bynes, but we've always debated whether or not mental illness was involved, whether or not drug abuse was involved, whether or not it was like a narcissistic plea for attention or whether or not she was just acting out. So where do you guys stand now? I'm starting to realize that maybe this is real. Yes! This yeah. is maybe happening. Yep. And I'm crying every night about it. So sad. I think she's acting. I'm hoping. I'm similarly hoping that she's a genius. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that someday she's just going to show up and be like, like, hey, Surprise! It's me. I but know. like again, it's one of those things where we don't really ever literally hear her side of the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. I only see it in like those updates on like celebrity websites mm -hmm. where it's cited as something that has happened. Right. I don't see her face when she's saying someone slapped her vagina. And her Twitter isn't verified. But then how like, are they getting the selfies? Because those are like full on. Maybe they hacked, but all I mean, hacked. you could even if you say that they hacked the fact that she's showing up in court with a crazy wig. This mm -hmm. happened? This wasn't a figure of my imagination? You have a nice wig. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I'm going to show in the court. OK, this was only like 50 bucks, OK? Yeah. Nice. It looks so real. Yeah, yeah. yours is great. Thank That's you. a good wig. Okay. Good right, job, right. girl. See how I got the attention? That's what she's doing. Now, <laughs> I have to say, we did talk about this on Dr. Yeah. Drew last night. And Dr. Drew and some of his team of psychologists were saying that they believe it's not drug abuse. They think it's definitely mental illness. Her parents think it's schizophrenia. So if this is the case, this is someone that is really suffering from mental illness, and I don't really hold Amanda Bynes responsible for her behavior because I do personally think it's mental illness. I think I've said that from the very beginning. Yeah. But the people that I do kind of hold responsible is the people on Twitter who are literally, and some of these people I know, who are saying that she's hysterical, she's funny, she's cool, she's a queen, I wish I could be her, I wish I could hang out with her. They're literally, if she it's is adding sick, fuel to the fire. adding fuel to the fire, or there's the people that are making fun of her. Either or, if this is a really sick human being, not responsible, not good. Yeah. Can't they cancel her Twitter or whatever if that's she's really interesting. Sick? That's why I think that she's acting. Where's her parents? Where's the right. government? I don't know. She's How rejected she? her parents, yeah. but there could have been signs she's early gone. on that wasn't addressed. And then it could even be sometimes you can have bipolar disorder that's drug induced. I don't know much about schizophrenia, but I know that if you take hard drugs, you can develop 
any sort of mental illness, wow. like schizophrenia. So maybe that's how that was caused. So do you think that she will actually get help? No, you, that'll ruin her career. You're right. I'm surprised that there's 1.4 million people now following her on Twitter. And her Twitter's new. It's, it's just like a yes. matter of months old. I think it's brilliant. I hope it's brilliant. I, I, I hope well, it's I really fake. hope it's brilliant. I hope it's fake also. Yeah. Because we, I want, like, oh, I want it to be her. Everybody adored her. You're <laughs> yes, right. She went on a number of different talk shows and says, I don't like going to clubs. I like working. I like choosing quirky characters to play. So we've always respected that. That's why it's so shocking. And that's why still people are rooting for her, even though right. she's writing these crazy tweets but i think wow, we're all in agreement that we're rooting for her we adore her yes. we really hope that yes. if she needs help that she finds help soon okay so what do you guys think about amanda Bynes? please let us know your honest thoughts in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe we'll see you all next time we want to do a special thanks to mltd.com so if you want any of the clothes that we have worn you can go to mltd.com and you can put pop trigger in the checkout and you get 20 percent off Boop.